Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Taking the Bath in the Bathroom is on the place where you can place your gadgets in peace. On this channel, we do product reviews and also some tutorials. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and check out my ebook, bang, www.manisetthemselfonfire.com. All right, guys, so let's jump right into it. I've been preaching about all of the changes that's coming to YouTube, talking about the community guidelines continually to involve and how this can hurt or help your favorite content creator. And I just want you guys to be aware of this just in case if you see your favorite content creator doing something different, it's because they are abiding by these guidelines. So today we want to talk about uh, what YouTube is going to do. They're going to disable the visual of the like and dislike feature based on something that content creators have been complaining about for years. And you know what that is? That's trolls, guys. That's people that mob up or get bots that go and attack content creators content so when they upload a video they have bots that just give thumbs downs or they have multiple accounts to where they just give thumbs downs on the video that hurt the content creator in the algorithm and also hurt people that's coming to view the video they see thumbs down so they're like i'm not gonna watch this video it's not a good video so they are negatively impacted because the video can actually help them. But I'm doing a lot of talking, guys. Let's just jump into the article. But first, a word from our sponsor. Trigger TV. Trigger TV provides tons of entertainment. It allows you to watch four shows at once. Not only that, guys, but it's giving you hundreds of channels, sporting events. Trigger TV is one of the most affordable and best IPTV service there is. Trigger TV have something for everyone. Only thing you have to do, guys, is visit their website. Look in the description of the video. Or order your Trigger TV today. Download it on your selected device. And you're good to go. Trigger TV, the best IPTV service there is. All right, guys. So here you go. Now, this is an article from um, Tech tech crunch and basically you can just google it and you will see a couple of um sites that have written articles on it so it said youtube is removing the dislike count on all videos across its platforms and it kind of goes into why they're making the decision so let's just check it out right quick youtube today which when it says today that was the 10th i'm making this video on the 11th Today announced its decision to make the dislike count on videos private across its platforms. The decision is likely to be controversial given the extent that it impacts the public visibility into a video reception. But YouTube believes the change will better protect its creators from harassments and reduce the threat of what it's called dislike attacks. Essentially, when a group teams up to drive up the numbers of dislikes on a video the company says that while dislike counts won't be visible to the public it's not removing the dislike button itself users can can still click the the thumbs down button on videos to sing, signal their dislike to creators privately meanwhile creators will be able to track their dislikes and youtube studio alongside with other analytics about their videos performance if they choose so there you have it youtube is going to um implement these changes and i think this is one of the times where i can say youtube have it right there's so much hate out here guys there's so much hate especially in the streaming community there's so much hate guys so let's jump back into the studio and i'm gonna give you my my final thoughts on this issue all right guys welcome back so there you have it youtube is going to disable that feature so pretty soon you're not going to be able to see how many thumbs up um thumbs down the video have now again my perspective is this is much needed to protect the content creators but i do have my reservations and one of my reservations is this is that okay so we know that youtube algorithm picks up engagement so if you're taking that feature away um from individuals to be able to see it and you use that as one of your metrics to suggest or recommend videos will you still use that as a metric because even though the viewer cannot see it if it's in my analytics it means that youtube algorithm can see it and if you're still using it as a metric then it kind of defeat the purpose because they still could attack my videos all right so um 
I don't know, guys. It, it's just one of those things that you never know what YouTube is doing. But I just want to be pro creator. And I want you guys to know if you see your favorite content creator doing or moving, doing something different or moving differently on their platform, it's because they have to keep up with all of YouTube changes. Now, I know each time I do a video about YouTube, I get people in the comment section, well, get off the platform or stop doing this on YouTube and all of that. I, you know, only thing I had to say to those people is that you don't know the amount of work that content creators put in to be compliant with YouTube rules. And when they constantly changing things up, it makes it harder and harder. Look, we're here for a reason. Whether we're giving value to you or whether we're giving value to someone else, most content creators helping are helping people on this platform. YouTube used to be a place where people can come and they can share their ideas and their experiences. It's no longer the case. YouTube is very commercialized and they pick and choose who they want to promote. And if you want me to get into it, I can give you a case study. YouTube claims that the algorithm, right? The algorithm picks up what your platform is about by you producing content. And one of the things they encourage you to do is, is to produce content, right? And so they want you to produce content so the algorithm can pick you up. However, if that's the case, then why would you get a young lady? I'm not going to mention her name, but I'm going to mention what her videos are about. When she first came on the scene, her first video was about living in the van. All right. And boom, over a million views. Well, if she only had one video, how did your algorithm decide where to recommend that video if they didn't have enough data on them? So these are sort of the questions that content creators have. And it's been known behind the scenes that we believe that YouTube pick and choose who they want to support. And that's why I tell you guys, support your content creator. But there you go. I got mixed feelings about it, but you definitely got to do something about all of these haters out here, man. Reporting the content creators, causing them to um, lose revenue or causing them to ha have to appear videos and stuff like that. I'm glad YouTube is taking a step. I wish they'd take another step. Me personally, I believe that if you report somebody video three times in a month, and if they appeal, and if they went all three times, then you should be banned from the platform. That would stop a lot of haters from trying to hate on other content creators. It's your boy taking the bath. Until next time, peace. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Guys, go ahead and look in the description of the video and cop one of my video courses if you're looking to make six figures i got a video to show you it's easy guys step by step or if you're looking to hit a hustle guys go ahead and check out how to sell hot spots yeah you can sell internet guys you really can actually sell internet to people and i'll show you how to do it it's your boy taking the bath until next time peace don't forget to subscribe 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 don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos.